you uh, here joining us today. Uh, uh, my audio description is I'm pale. I have uh, hair that hasn't been cut since pre-pandemic that's brownish red, and I am wearing a black turtleneck. Um, my name is Talia. I am co-director of Civic Signals, a professor at the University of Texas at Austin, and director of the Center for Media Engagement. And researchers at the center, like Tamara Wilner and Gina Masulo, have been critical to our work. And I'm here today because I think that much is amiss in the digital public. And I think that there's something that we as a community can do about it. Hey, everybody. I'm uh, Eli Pariser. Um, my audio description, I'm, I'm a white dude, Jewish, uh, with dark brown hair, and I'm wearing a kind of gray sweater. And I've got a little bit of a beard. Um, and uh, I uh, come out of kind of a number of different projects with technology, media, media and democracy, um, from uh, helping run Move On in the 2000s to co-founding Upworthy and writing the book, The Filter Bubble. And right now, I'm co-directing Civic Signals uh, with Talia. And um, this is such a thrill to all be together in this conversation. Um, I really am here because I believe that people deserve better digital spaces and that democracy demands it. And um, I'm also here because I want to learn from all of you. So over the next few days, you'll be meeting other members of our Civic Signals team, uh, new, uh, Neelam and Marina and Romy, and um, we'll share a little bit more about what we're up to and hopefully how we can all work together. Um, so Talia, over to you. So that's enough about us. Uh, let's talk a bit about you. Uh, this is a really interesting, varied group. And we have urbanists and community builders. We have librarians, game designers, entrepreneurs, activists, academics, journalists, futurists. You can, you can just list the gamut of people that we have here. And we come from places all over the world and a lot of different cultures. And there are some really significant power differentials in the room. And beyond this Zoom, there are actually thousands of others who have signed up to watch on the live stream. And we think that this is actually an important feature of what we're doing today because we spend a lot of time in homogenous groups these days. And so to us, this is such an incredible opportunity to be part of a heterogeneous group. But I think we also want to acknowledge that, you know, we're not all on the same page about everything in this group from the role of big tech to our views on what needs to change. And that's both like a beautiful and challenging thing because this is a moment, uh, especially right now, where gathering and sustaining groups with a lot of difference isn't easy. And especially uh, if like me, you're in the United States after the attack on the Capitol last week, um, you know, I know my emotions are running high. I know a lot of other folks are. And um, so it's a hard time to kind of have these conversations across difference. And I think this is a place where uh, our public space theme is helpful actually, um, because public spaces hold these kinds of tensions all the time. In a way, it's what public space is about. And uh, it's not easy work, but it's vital work. It's also part of why uh, we've designed this program with a lot of art. And there are probably about 50 artists that have contributed to uh, what you're gonna see. And that's partly about beauty and joy and, and finding uh, those moments. Um, but it's also about how art and play can help us find different ways of being together. So our request to you is to help make this the kind of space that you want to be a part of. Uh, let's not assume we're all alike or we all agree, but let's engage with each other in a generous and a curious way. And if you're finding a conversation that's getting too heated for you, it's, it's okay to step back too. You should expect some discomfort and some provocation. I'm sure that some of the exercise and moments will feel somewhat uncomfortable or weird. It, don't worry, it will for me too. Uh, <laughs> we encourage you to just go with it, but ultimately do what's best for you. And we should also note that we're trying to experiment in form, not just in content. And sometimes when you feel uncomfortable, that's actually the point of it. It's like friction, if you will. But we also really want feedback if something isn't working for you. So if that's the case, go to suggestion box, that channel in Discord, and please let us know. And I should also say, if you're in a conversation that's really not sitting right with you or you're feeling harassed, get our Discord moderators involved. We have believe in moderators. We've got a great team uh, on board um, to help out. 
few other thoughts. Just um, if you're a person who talks a lot, uh, try talking a little less and checking yourself. I'm, I'm one of those people. Um, if you're a person who doesn't talk a lot, like step in. We, we want to hear what you have to say. Um, let's all be kind of good bystanders in conversations as well. So if they're getting out of hand, step in to move things in a positive direction. Um, as you've heard, we've kind of got more, more fully public and more private spaces in this conversation as well. And so the main sessions are all gonna be live streamed, but there will be some breakouts and other kinds of conversational spaces. And we ask that people kind of uh, observe the Chatham House rule uh, in those spaces. So basically anything that people say on the live stream, you're welcome to quote and share, um, but in uh, the breakouts and in discords, um, you know, ask, the, ask uh, permission first. And we'll be documenting stuff in a lot of different ways as well as tools for everyone else. So taking a step back, we want to ask, what's this event for? And what are we really trying to do here? What we want to do is we, we hope to make forward progress on working together. Uh, we know that we're not going to solve or resolve everything, especially the big topics of today. But a step forward is what, what we ultimately want to do. We want to try to build a space that's a little bit more long term focused, hopefully some sort of a break from the unending Twitter feed. And we really thought of this as like, it's not a tech conference, because in the long run, we believe that it's critical to actually build together people from a variety of different disciplines to envision new ways we could build healthy digital spaces. It's not something that's going to come from Silicon Valley alone. So you know, despite the current mess online and offline, this event is really about holding on to our fierce hope that a better, a better place can be and should be, and um, that we can do that together. And then building on that hope by learning from each other, um, creating collaborations and connections, and ultimately, you know, ideas that turn into projects and public products that make people's digital lives better. And this is not the last time that we'll say it, but this was a massive and group effort. And we could go on for days thanking everyone that's been involved with this. We wanna particularly thank our funders, including the Knight Foundation, the Midyar Network, One Project, the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation, and Stand Together. We're truly grateful for the support. And many of you on this, on this uh, Zoom and on the live stream have helped uh, us think about this and an extraordinary team has helped to put this together. Um, so what can you expect? So today we're talking about the values and limits of public spaces and how those qualities might be brought into digital life. Tomorrow we'll dig into a key topic, safety, and explore some provocations about what digital life might need and then finish up with a showcase of nine great real current projects that are trying to build better digital spaces. And on Thursday we'll hear a group of visionaries talk about the future of public life online and have a chance to create attendee-led sessions to start thinking about the next pieces of this work. And in between all of that, we're trying to bring some fun moments, some interesting interactions, and some worthwhile conversations. So one last thing, um, you know, as you probably have already observed, this is all an experiment that we're co-creating together. Um, and even with the pandemic, you know, we're all kind of learning, working through the process of being ourselves online. So I just want to ask that everybody kind of embrace that spirit of experimentation in the variety of tools and platforms. Um, we are working hard to make sure that they all work, but some probably won't. There will be glitches and hiccups alongside uh, the laughter. And um, I just really appreciate everyone's curiosity and patience as we learn together. So lean into that with us. And with that, I think we're ready to get started. <laughs>